Here's the product. I'm not going to show it to you yet. It's under there. I'm not going to show it to you. Now, uh, at Dyson, we spent uh, years, um, six to eight years, examining hair science, discovering what uh, make, damages hair and what makes hair glossy and what makes uh, a better style. And one of the most important things about hair is the damage that you can get on hair. And we've not only studied in our laboratories, but we've gone around the world. We've set up laboratories in our demo stores where with uh, ultrasound technology, we examine people's hair. Now, everybody has different hair. And these are the sort of basic types of hair. You have straight hair here. You have slightly curly hair. You have very curly hair. And you have extremely curly or even kinky hair. And we've subdivided each of those types of hair. Now, um, there we are. Those are the types of hair. Now, this is one of my hairs, which they took off me and examined. And you'll see that uh, over on the left, it's near the root. You'll see that it's pretty well undamaged. That's in the middle, again, pretty well undamaged. And at the end, it's also pretty well undamaged. And I've only ever used a Dyson Supersonic on my hair. I've never used extreme heat. But if I show you the next slide, over on the left there, this is a slide of a beauty editor. I won't name her, but um, I think this is pretty, pretty normal sort of thing you'd see. So over on the left, there's a bit of damage near the root. In the middle, there's starting to be a lot of damage. And at the end, it's pretty well, well, it's terrible. And that's all or mostly caused by heat. And uh, the product I'm going to show you today uh, overcomes this problem. This is the new Dyson Corral. It, uh, uh, you can see a nice picture of it there. It's, um, it uh, styles your hair without extreme heat. It gives you a wonderful style. And the copper plates flex around the hair. So you end up with a glossy, undamaged hair, uh, perfectly styled. So the secret of these copper plates here, which wrap around the tress, forming a nice oval for the tress. Now, I'll just demonstrate that. Sam's going to hand me an already heated set. Uh, here we are. So I'm going to show you how it works. It clamps and you pull it down with, I've got even tension down the tress and I'm not overheating it. In fact, I'm using far less heat than flat pate hair arms. So there you are. It's a lovely tress, even tension applied and uh, evenly heated. Thank you. Now, I'm just going to show you, uh, and I hope you can see this clearly. The one on the left is flat hair arms at about 200 degrees. And on the right are the Dyson Corral at about 165 degrees. And you can see that the one on the left has splayed the hair out. So it's only really gripping the hairs in the center. And tension is extremely important. Tension and heat are the way that you straighten hair and style hair. So you can see that's not really on the left. The flat plates are not doing a good job. Whereas the corral on the right has wonderful, neat edges. It's got the tress to, uh, to apply even tension and even heat. Uh, and I'll just show that again. Watch that being done again. Watch for the splaying of the flat plates on the left and the neat uh, corralling of the Dyson on the right. Now, that's achieved because th these are the solid plates up here. And you'll see they're squashing the hair in the center, making it quite flat. But the hairs at the edge are not being tensioned. They're not being heated. They're not being squeezed. Whereas with the Dyson, with the flexing plates, it's corralling it in the center very nicely, keeping it a lovely oval shape. And the same happens when you, when you look at the heat. The same, exactly the same effect happens. You're squashing and, in fact, overheating the tress in the center there, whereas there are bits being missed around the edge as it splays out. But with the Dyson, they're corralled into a nice oval, and it doesn't get too hot because the center core cools the outside hairs. So with the Dyson, the hair never reaches the temperature about 20 degrees below the temperature you've set it at. So the, the hair is always 20 degrees lower than the plate temperature. 